I think there's like a signature sort of mark that Beirut is leaving in terms of its art scenes. Here, artists are just evolving and doing something different. If you look at art say, a decade ago or even five years ago, there was a lot of emphasis on a civil war that's already passed. But I think it's also really important to like recognize the, um, the broader range of human experiences. So I think artists are slowly um, having the courage to move in that direction. Another thing that's becoming, I think that's expanding in a really interesting way um, is the street art scene. My name is Zad Khouri and I do public art. Mostly I'm, I'm moved and I'm encouraged to do projects, social political projects, that tackle uh, the traces of that civil war that we are still living until today. So here we are looking at uh, a real war piece. Uh, those are real bullet traces. I went to the street, asked a shop owner if he accepts to, for me to replace his rolling shutter and I took the, the one with the bullet traces and turned it into this artwork. Here uh, I added one layer of color, it's the statement that I'm adding colors to those war traces and I'm inviting people to move on from those war traces that we've been living for 30 years now. Right now, the, the places that I'm really excited about would definitely be this gallery, and this is Sally Barakats. They also have some of the most innovative work from Lebanese artists. I think you can't miss Sursa. It's um, historically been one of the most important art, art institutions in Beirut, and absolutely you cannot miss Beit Beirut and Zico House. These are two of the oldest buildings that still exist in the city that are doing cultural uh, endeavors and cultural projects. Come to Lebanon because it has an amazing art scene and you should definitely check it out.